I really like storolite. It's one of the few yellow crystals, distinctly yellow crystals in rocks. This one is barely pleochroic, just a little bit, um, but it's that gigantic grain with all of the inclusions in it. Low interference colors, high relief. Those are distinctive. This is a cluster of small grains. It's actually a pseudomorph after sillimanite. So there's a bunch of muscovite in there as well. And you can see there is some yellow pleochroism here. Across the polars, all low interference colors. Anything that's high interference color there is muscovite. This is a fairly typically pleochroic storolite crystal. One thing you'll notice is that there are regions that have very few inclusions and regions that have lots of inclusions. The areas that have few inclusions have overgrown or replaced sheet silicates, muscovite, chlorite, and the areas that have more inclusions overgrew quartz. This video compares storolite with chlorotoid. Storolite is the yellow pleochroic mineral in the middle, and chlorotoid is the blue pleochroic mineral around the outside. The chlorotoid video has the same pair of chlorotoid and storolite in it. They have very similar relief, um, and they both have low interference colors, but their pleochroism is different, and storolite does not have the same kind of twinning. But storolite does have twins. They're just simple twins. Here is a very large storolite crystal. One side is more pleochroic than the other, it's darker than the other. That's because there's a twin boundary running between those two domains. When I cross the polars, you can see they're at different orientations because they go extinct at different angles of rotation of the stage. And this is just a close-up of that twin boundary. I confess one of the reasons I went into metamorphic petrology is because so many minerals have different colors. Storolite's yellow, chlorotoid is blue, chlorite is green, biotite is brown. So optical mineralogy is a little bit easier with metamorphic rocks, I think, than with igneous rocks. And one last storolite. This is from a metavolcanic rock. I don't know why it is, but storolite in metavolcanic rocks does tend to be darker yellow than storolite in metapolitic rocks, in metamorphosed mudstones, even though it's much more common in metamorphosed mudstones.